and click Settings from the menu. Your account settings are an important part of keeping up with course communications. Here you can add additional email addresses that you'd like to be notified at. If you've set up the mobile app, you'll see that here under Other Contacts. And you can even set up your phone to receive text message notifications here as well. You can also choose to link up any of these web services. Once you've set up all the different ways Canvas can contact you, click Notifications to customize when and where it will notify you. In the Notifications page, you can be specific about what you want to be notified about, how often, and on which device. For email, you can choose to be notified right away, with a daily summary, with a weekly summary, or not at all. In the second column, you can choose what to be notified about in the Canvas app. You will need to set this up on your device first. And if you set up a text message number, that will show up in a third column on the right. Some notifications I choose to leave turned off, because I'll see them in my course. And some, I'm okay getting an email summary at the end of the day, like when an assignment's been graded, or my instructor left a submission comment. But there are a few things that I recommend setting immediate notifications for, specifically when your teacher posts a new course announcement and when someone sends you a conversation message. That's like an email message in Canvas. Those things you want to be up to date on all the time. Discussion posts might be a good one to turn on in the Canvas app. This will send you a notification when someone posts on a discussion topic you're subscribed to. Then you can even respond right away in the app if you have the time.